How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be debuting my all-time Detroit Tigers team build and this will be uh, the first part of several of these games. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So if we take a look at the squad here, all of these players at one point in time played for the Detroit Tigers and I have another team or uh, several other players that I don't necessarily have in my lineup that I will be using the next time around. So this will be the starting lineup the first time. We're going with Eric Davis, Ty Cobb, Miguel Cabrera, Gary Sheffield, Nicholas Castellanos, Yoenis Cespedes, Eugenio Suarez, and Ivan Rodriguez. Now, uh, Nicholas Castellanos actually has 44 fielding at second base, so I'm going to be using him out of position in this one. I also have Jonathan Scope. And he will be on the bench, but I want to try out uh, Nicholas Castellanos this first time around at second. The next time I do this video, I will probably be using this squad right here. But if we take a look at the pitchers that I own in MLB The Show 20, I don't have the best version of Justin Verlander. If you watched the previous video, I used him in a special debut, and then I decided to sell him for 1 million stubs. I also don't have the best version of Casey Mize, but when I do this again, I'll probably use either Hal Newhauser, Casey Mize, or the live series Justin Verlander, just because I didn't want to spend a lot of stubs on the pitching side of things for this Detroit Tigers team build. So anyway, let's go ahead and get right into it. This is the lineup. We have a pretty good amount of power and speed, good defense all around, except for, of course, the guy we have out of position, but also a pretty good pitcher, Max Scherzer. This will be the first time I'm using this Cy Young version of Max Scherzer, 99 overall, pitcher from the Washington Nationals, and honestly, Scherzer has pitched for two of my favorite teams, the Detroit Tigers and the Arizona Diamondbacks. So for this game, we had to go to Comerica Park. Uh, one of the most beautiful MLB stadiums that I've ever been to personally. And I honestly would put um, Chase Field, which is the Arizona Diamondbacks home field, right in that discussion as well. Those are two of my favorite fields. One of them is in my hometown of Arizona. But anyway, Max Scherzer to start this game off strikes out the side in order. And that is a great way to get the confidence up on all of Max Scherzer's individual pitches early on in the game. Now here we got Ty Cobb, the second leadoff hitter. I got out with Eric Davis, grounded out to the shortstop. And here I'm just a little too aggressive. Hit a base knock down the left, left field line there. And I tried to get to second when realistically I probably could have just stole second base with Ty Cobb. He's got 99 speed, 99 steal. Just kind of a dumb move, but I was also testing Juan Soto's arm out there in left field. Thought he might get the running into the wall animation. Anyway, we get a base knock with Miggy, and here's Gary Sheffield. I thought I got a hold of this one and hit it out for a home run, but that one did not go anywhere. Just right to the left fielder. Two base hits in the first inning, but nothing to show for it. Now we got to face the best hitter in the entire game, Juan Soto, and after striking out the side in order the first time around, he knocks a base hit. Perfect, perfect line drive. Luckily, just stayed in the ballpark, and he didn't have the perfect launch angle to get that no doubter animation. But we're facing Stanton. This guy's got a pretty good budget team. He doesn't have, you know, some of the best, most expensive players in MLB The Show, but he does have a lot of 99s, very high overall players with a lot of power and a very good team all around. So we're in for a tough one here. I'm still in the 500 something ratings. I haven't really been playing ranked seasons, but when I am, I am just looking to play, you know, a game here and there for uh, specific videos. Here, Yoenis Cespedes getting us started with a line drive double. That would have been nice if I was able to get him up in the last inning, but now we draw a walk with Eugenio Suarez, a guy that the Tigers traded away, turned into a great power hitter, but we got Pudge coming up. Right before the pitcher, Pudge Rodriguez in the eight spot, hits a perfect, perfect fly ball, 420 feet. I couldn't believe it, to be honest with you. I did not think that was going out. Thought Griffey had a chance to rob that one, now we have Eric Davis. Once we flip the lineup over, he knocks a base hit. 99 speed on first base with two outs. I'm more than likely going to attempt a steal. I, I certainly did, but he went to a couple slide steps. I thought about going to a hit and run, but I figured I would just let Ty Cobb hit. And if I launch one into the gap, then he's going to score from first base regardless. So now we have Miguel Cabrera up. Two guys on base. I thought I got this one once again. Similar swing as the one I got with Gary Sheffield, 
This one fell a little bit better, and it didn't go anywhere. Right to the warning track, he makes the play, and it sounded like my bat was hollow in that last that bat with Miggy. But this is also, you know, the first time I'm using a lot of these cards. I'm not necessarily used to a lot of these swings, but I do have a couple guys in the lineup back-to-back -back that have similar swings. So that's kind of my approach there. We do have Nick Castellanos coming up next inning, and I'm thinking about bringing in Jonathan Scope uh, depending on how he does because I don't want to have that defensive liability out there, especially if it's a lower scoring game with runners on base. We need all the double plays we can get. Anyway, uh, that last inning got away with one. Trey Turner lines one to left field or hits a deep fly ball. This one, perfect, perfect line drive. Gary Sheffield out once again. Kind of got robbed in this game so far. But Nick Castellanos, that is exactly why he's playing second base out of position. This guy has an amazing no-doubt animation. His swing is very smooth. His finish on his no-doubter is very smooth. And honestly, I think I've only had a couple of base hits with them. And most of them are, have been no-doubt home runs. Anyway, Yoenis Cespedes is coming up next. He already has a double in the ball game. We're up 4 to nothing. And I was just a little bit early on that fastball. But that's the pitch I was looking for. We adjust and we get the curveball here. Same type of animation. Same, similar swing to Nick Castellanos. But Yoenis Cespedes. Home run derby version. A lot of people forget that he actually played for the Tigers for one year. They kind of got him as a rental player uh, right before he was a free agent. And then I would think he went back to the Mets if I'm not mistaken. But I'm not exactly sure there. Anyway, we're up 5 to nothing. Eugenio Suarez hit this one pretty good. Right to Griffey. Griffey's going to track down anything and everything out there in center field. But I, I felt like I had to pick Comerica Park for this game. I did have to also search for a home game. I will say that this was the very first time of the year that I backed out of a game because I was the away team. Uh, just for the Tigers team build. Just because we're using the all-time Tigers team. I felt like I had to play at Comerica, but this is the one opportunity Nick Castellanos gets. Uh, ground ball to second base. I just messed that up. That was an easy play for him to make, to be honest with you. And uh, if I was good at the game, I would have made that play, but we got a little lucky. Here we get one uh, that just bloops in. Yohannes Cespedes does have a cannon out there, throws him out at second base. A weird force out, but that's with having you know no speed at shortstop. I think Eugenio has like 31 speed. Even slower than Corey Seager over there. But uh, so far, the offense, pretty good. Pudge with the three-run shot. Yohannes Cespedes and Nick Cassianos go back-to-back -back in the reverse order from what I just said. But that's pretty solid all around. You know, I, That's why I got those guys in the lineup. I could be using some other players. I could be using Luis Gonzalez. I could be using Alan Trammell. We got him on the bench because he's the coach. Uh, we also have Jim Leland out there. Uh, I wish he had a card in the game. That would be pretty cool. Put him as the manager, uh, favorite manager of all time as well. But we have to have Alan Trammell on the bench in this game. Uh, I don't like his swing at all either. So I don't know if uh, I'll do any good at the plate with some of these guys the next time around when we mix up the team. But we're in the top of the fifth. Max Scherzer's absolutely dealing. I think he has like 11 strikeouts at this point. Maybe even more. I'm not. I'm not exactly sure. But we're facing Yasmani Grandal. He gets another one right here. I think the announcer might have said that was 12 strikeouts. We're facing Reggie Jackson, uh, the top of the fifth. I'm going with the changeup. He was a little bit all over the place with his timing. Uh, this opponent didn't have the most games played, you know, 40-something and 20-something record uh, in compared to my 100-something and 35 or something losses. I'm not exactly sure what my record is either. But we lose connection there. 5-0, uh, he only had a couple hits. They were pretty solid hits. He also got robbed from a home run, probably, from Trey Turner. That was a deep fly ball to the left field. But uh, here we have a bunch of packs, a few headliners. I collected Corey Seager in the collections for the 11th inning program stars, even though I'm like around 100 program stars for this 11th inning. I have just haven't been playing the game. I haven't had that much time to... Uh, play and record as many videos as I would like to, but I am trying to use my time as wisely as I can. I do have a bunch of paperwork and a bunch of things to complete uh, for tonight after I record this, so that's what I'm going to be doing for the rest of my Friday night. Hopefully everybody has a great weekend and uh, enjoys a lot of time with your family You know, around these holiday seasons and everything. I just wanted to mention that as I'm kind of just opening up some packs. It's really important to 
spend the time with people that you care about and and things like that so uh to wrap up this video you know we will be uh trying out some different players in the next all-time tigers team build here we got the first inning program a 7,000 stud royals while well, that's what i'm talking about and we also have the prestige 99 the final player for hitting level 95 prestige so not bad at all i'll never use that many minoso i never used the other one but that's gonna do it for this video i'm college lefty and i'll see you in the next one peace out